Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got um, kind of a review or observation um, of this uh, HL138ACP snap-on high leverage plier. Um, and these are different than the traditional, um, like the 47 ACF slip joint pliers, in that uh, the function of leverage of the plier with uh, traditional designs is simply the ratio of where you're grabbing it or the handle length versus you know to the pivot versus the pivot to where you're grabbing something with the jaws so you know if you want to grab something really tight you move it down close to the pivot because then that gives you a very small distance here that if you multiply or if you divide the the uh, handle distance to the pivot by that distance it gives you um, your leverage ratio um, what happens uh, oftentimes is to get more leverage um, you can either make a smaller distance machined into the plier or make the handles longer, such as what Knipex did here. You can see just how long those are. So anyway, what's going on, what's going on with this guy is there is actually a, um, an additional camming mechanism inside it that changes that proportion. So you can see it's almost like a, you know, a pulley system block and tackle where I move this um, and it's disproportionate. It's, it's disproportionately small um, at the, uh, the grabbing end versus a traditional plier, which is a one-to-one -one, um, movement, but then with the ratio of handle, you know, handle lever to, um, to the effort or to the, uh, the force out here. Um, others uh, like are a little more open about how it's happening. You can see on this Knipex pliers wrench, not only is there, you know, the, the traditional movement to align it, but then you've got this, this mechanism here that provides a change in the leverage. So this movement here is amplified, or this, this movement here gets amplified in the handle, so it's not equal, it's not one-to-one. -one. Uh, here's an Irwin, same thing. It's just got a different way of, of approaching it, so you can see. But anyway, this is what's on the table. Um, I love these things. They are amazing. Right now, I saw them for, eight, they're, they're under 80 bucks on Snap-on's website, um, which should be, you know, the truck price or less, um, less than that. And the reason I point that out is because I see these on eBay all the time for well over the truck price. When, and every time I see that, I kind of wonder about it. What's going on? Um, why would you pay that much more? And I think it might be availability. It might be maybe you're um, trying to, you, you don't have a snap-on dealer. I don't know what, or you're overseas or something. There's a lot coming out of Great Britain. I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyway, um, so it's a reasonable price, I think, for a, a pretty well-made um, kind of amazing plier. It's a special use plier because it does have some limitations. Um, first of all, the grabbing uh, size is pretty small. It's somewhat limited. You know, if you crack one of these guys open, similar length here, this thing can open up pretty wide. Here's the maximum of this guy right there. And then that's assuming you could even get your hand, you know, that far out. Um, but what happens when this shrinks down, besides being able to pinch yourself, it also allows you to grab onto some things, like even this little, this is a half inch diameter um, nut here, but I can grab that and have my pliers almost closed. Now Snap-on says it reduces the, the force the, um, on your hands up to 75%, which is a strange way of kind of saying that maybe there's a 75% improvement in your grip up here since this is pretty much a constant. It's not like your hand's gonna change strength just because you grab another plier, but where you are in your grip, if you're way out here, it's a pretty weak grip. But as you get closer and closer, you can get a tighter and tighter grip. And this does allow, in its large setting, grabbing a half inch nut, um, an incredible amount of force on that nut. Um, versus if you tried it here, won't even fit. If I go to the low one and then grab it, you can see just how wide that is compared to what this was. Um, so it does have an advantage um, on half inch and smaller um, in its larger setting because it does go down pretty small. If you look at that on this tape measure, 
um, we're dealing with in this area, in the main grabbing area, we're about, uh, know, it looks like roughly a third of an inch is what that is, which means um, I can get my hand almost closed around the pliers and grabbing something here with that leverage, meaning it's unstoppable. It's pretty amazing. Um, in its regular configuration, it's great for grabbing little things. I use it when holding stuff on angle grinders and, I mean, on uh, bench grinders. It's also, um, because of the, uh, the force there, if I grab something like this penny here, you can see this guy. I can literally crunch off a chunk of it just like that. It's that strong versus if I try that with a regular set of pliers, I end up kind of just bending the penny. So that it, it really crunches things. Um, I was gonna try it with wood to show, show you, but a little hard to see, but it really smashes the heck out of stuff. Um, which means if you have to you know, do some pretty fine work, I can just grab the very edge of this penny right there and be able to hold it. And I'll grab another set of pliers here. This is actually another set of these same um, HL138 ACPs that's old. And I'll explain these in a minute, but I can literally grab this and hold on here and bend it. Look at that. So even with just a tiny bit of force, I mean a tiny bit of a uh, traction here on the very end. Whereas if I try that here, if I'm trying it with this piece, just grabbing right at the very edge here, right there, it just pops right out. I can't hang on to it. You can grab a little bit more. That one I was, no, nope, it's still, it's shredding it. You can see, but anyway, it's pretty, a pretty narrow use, but pretty amazing when you actually get to use it. Now, what's this guy all about? This was one of my eBay purchases. Um, I got it. I can't remember. It wasn't very much. Um, look at that. There's old school snap-on on that. This one's the HL138. Not the ACP yet, I guess. Um, but as far as I can tell, it's almost identical. Um, be on this side here. This side here. Um, I don't think they update these much. Um, silky smooth, just beautiful. Um, great patina. I don't know if it originally had handles or covers over these. I imagine it did, but they were probably fell off. Um, but I wanted a pair for the for a vehicle kit. It's where I, I get a lot of my second sets of things, or why I do. But anyway, these um, I saw them and thought, well, I can I can clean them up. They were a little bit. They weren't quite as perfect as this when I got them, but anyway, I wanted to set for the car um, or my overlanding vehicle toolkit, depending. And I ended up um, picking these up for, and it was in the 20s somewhere. And I thought that's a screaming deal. Um, but anyway, I did notice, you know, about, that's about the only defect in them is, you know, somebody was cutting something pretty hard with the knives and ended up ding dinging that, but it doesn't bug me. Um, but anyway, now when I look at them, I always keep my eye out for them. They're very rare to find used, except maybe on eBay, for at or more than what Snap-on sells them for. Um, but anyway, I would certainly pick them up. They're just so handy. Um, the other thing I want to point out with them um, is when you're using them, you know, the, the, the ratio is quite a bit different. So you, you kind of have to remember that when you go to grab something that it may not open very far. This is uh, about the max comfortable. Um, I've got it on the, on the wide setting and this is a three quarter inch nut. And that's about it right there. I can grab that, I could hold that tight given the size of my hand. But if I go up to, I think there's about seven eighths, I can get this in here. Um, that nut, but you see the uh, spread on those? I can't really do anything. Um, whereas even this this pair here, crack that open, absolutely no problem. So you really don't want to replace your slip joint pliers with a pair of these high leverage. They're a separate thing. Um, and then if you go up to, if you really want some big leverage on a traditional slip joint, you know, snap-ons, um, big pliers here. These are the 49 ACF, and I love these things. Um, if I want to grab something that big, right there. I mean, that's I've got long, uh, a long lever arm here, and I've got 
um, a small enough grip here that I can really get my hand into it. And I'm grabbing something darn close to an inch in diameter. So um, you really need all of them to cover everything well. But if you don't have a pair of these, they're definitely worth it. They're an unusual pair of pliers, kind of rare, um, but they really do perform exceptionally well. And um, I just love these things. Definitely something um, to keep your eye out for. And with that, dock out. <laughs>